Hi, today we're going to take a look at electronic grant payments within BlackBot grant making. My name is Carly Meek and I'm a technical solutions engineer at BlackBot. So we're going to start out taking a look at the BlackBot grant making solution here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up an organization record. So we're going to start at an organization record. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the ways and the areas that we can collect information, bank account information, in order to store that and make electronic grant payments um, once those grants have been approved for payment. On each organization record, you will have an option to have a wire transfer section here. This is the area where you can collect and store all of the bank account information relevant to this organization's record. So as I can see here, I have all of that bank account information displayed. It's very easy to go ahead and click plus here and go ahead and fill in any of that bank account information to add additional bank accounts that may be linked or relevant to this organization's record. Once I've done that, I can now associate this wire transfer, this bank information, with any payments that are linked to this organization. So if we come over here and take a look at the payments that are associated with this organization, let's go ahead and open up one that's already scheduled. When I open up this scheduled payment, I can see down here there's a box called wire transfer. If I click this box, I can either go ahead and enter bank account information directly onto each payment. So if you do want to pay each individual payment to separate bank accounts, you have the ability to configure that. If I want to go ahead and default this to the organization, the payee's default wire transfer information, all I have to do is click that box. And then when I save and close, I'm going to be prompted to say, do you want to update this information based on the payee's information. I'm going to say yes, I'm done, and now it will update that payment record. So if we go ahead and open that record one more time, we should see that payment uh, information populated in here now. All right, so now that we have that bank account information stored within the organization record, we have our payments marked as um, set up to be paid electronically. Now I can have a separate dashboard set up just of my pending EFT payment. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh and I should see that new payment we just updated on here. All right, so now I have two grants that are pending EFT payments. I'm going to go ahead and expand into a workspace. And when I do that, I've set up my columns, my display here to include all of the information about that bank account, that wire transfer information. So I have all of the account numbers and information associated with that bank payment. So now, just like you do for normal payments, we can go ahead and check all of those boxes. We can export this information to Excel or to another file format. And then from here, we can direct that to your financial team, to the bank of your choice, however those electronic payments are actually going to be generated and processed um, from the, the bank perspective. Lastly, before we go ahead and wrap up here, I do want to point out there are some additional resources built into the system. If you have any questions, please be sure to use your help resources that are embedded right within Blackboard grant making. When you click that little help icon, it's going to bring you to our user guide which have a lot of information built in here. So if you have questions about um, paying via wire transfer, or what information can be captured or capabilities within the system, this is a great area to, to log in and, and access for those types of questions. Please also make sure that you always know you can contact your uh, account representative or our help desk um, for support questions as is needed. Thank you for reviewing this information with us today. Please let us know if you have any questions and we hope this was helpful. Thank you.